Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll show how to set up a thermal transient heat transfer simulation with a thermostat. This is a 25 watt household soldering iron. The iron is known to heat the tip to about 360 degrees F in just a few minutes. Items to show include, we'll conduct a steady state simulation to evaluate the potential maximum temperature of the assembly. Next, we show how to set up a thermal transient simulation and install a thermostat to regulate the tip temperature between acceptable limits of about 360 degrees. There are subtopics which you might find interesting too. These include the use of symmetry to speed up the solution, about the insulated boundary condition, application of heat power, application of convection, applying initial conditions for the transient analysis, and about the simulation step size for controlling the fidelity of the results. You can see the part has geometric rotational symmetry and visualize 120 degree symmetry due to the fasteners. So we have installed an assembly cut to take advantage of this on another configuration. So first we'll set up and run a steady state heat simulation. I'll select thermal and put in a name. I'll install heat power to the heating element. Since we have one third of the model, I'll use one third of 25 watts or 8.3 watts. Now I'll install a convection boundary condition to surfaces exposed to air. We'll use this option to select all exposed faces, then deselect the inside faces of the model and the faces on the symmetry cut planes. This provides for no heat transfer across the faces, in effect, an insulated boundary condition. I'll change the units to SI and put in 50 watts per square meter K for convection. And set the outside air to 297 K, which is about 75 degrees F. You'll want to note this all over convection is an idealization. The convection coefficient likely varies across exposed faces, so you'll need to verify a final design with an actual prototype test. I'll go ahead and mesh and solve to see the results. The result shows handle and connection are at 75 F, but the tip temperature gets to about 823 degrees F. This is too hot for the solder, so now we can proceed to develop a thermal transient study and install a thermostat to control the temperature. First, I'll duplicate the steady state study and provide a new name. In the properties of the study, I'll change it to be a transient study. I'll run this for a total of 5 minutes, or 300 seconds, with a time increment of 5 seconds. For higher fidelity in the results at each step, you can reduce the time increment, say, to 1 second steps, but it will take longer to run the simulation. Next, we'll install a thermostat in the model to control the power from the heating element. I'll edit the heat power. Scroll down and check the thermostat option. I'll use this middle point at the base of the soldering iron tip for the thermostat sensor location. Now we can input cutoff temperatures for the switch. The solder melt temperature is about 360 degrees F, so I'll try a low limit for the switch to power on at 355 degrees F and the upper limit to cut off the power at 365 degrees F. Now since this is a transient simulation, we need an initial or starting temperature for the assembly. I'll use 75 degrees F. We'll insert a temperature load and check the option for initial temperature. We'll select all components, but not use the select all faces option, because we want the interior volumes of the components, as well as the exterior faces, set to 75 degrees F. Now we're all set to run. You can see the simulation has to solve at each time step increment. So this takes longer than a steady state simulation. Here's the result plot showing the temperature at time step 1, which is 5 seconds. You can plot the temperature result at any time step, 
I'll try 60 seconds. I'll probe the tip temperature and we see about 354 degrees at 60 seconds. Now let's choose the response option to see the tip temperature against time. On the graph you can see the low temperature is about 336 and the high temperature is about 354. Recall we need to hold the tip temperature to about 360 F so it's not getting hot enough. Since the tip is some distance away from the thermostat switch, we need to tweak the design to allow the temperature at the switch to get higher. We could do this by increasing the thermostat sensor's upper cutoff temperature and also increasing the sensor's lower power on temperature. We add a definition on the heat power item. And you can see we set the lower bound temperature to 370 and the upper bound temperature to 390 and we ran this again. You can see by the plot the lowest tip temperature is about 354 and the highest temperature is about 377 with a mean of about 365. In this video we showed how to set up a thermal transient heat transfer simulation and a thermostat.